primary objective was glucose homeostasis and we used the Matsuda method which is a 75 gl gram glucose tolerance test. It's the same test you do when your polycose test when you're pregnant except that you take a whole lot more bloods. If you think of your olive leaf extract, it's mainly olive and then a little bit of hydroxytyrosol and then all sorts of other little bits. What we found that is in the plasma and in the urine, the only thing you could really measure of any decent amount was glucuronidated hydroxytyrosol. So this is the product that's in your blood that's doing the business. The strength of the study design is really crucial. A randomised crossover trial gets rid of all these other parts of study design. So what are the relevance to practice? We have shown that olive leaf extract improves insulin sensitivity in this insulin resistant population and that its effect is similar to metformin. So we've pushed them from a, a risk to a lesser risk. You'll see here olive leaf extract in the green. Your excursion from baseline on the olive leaf is lower and you need to make less insulin to do so. Which is really good, <laughs> is the best way to say that. So it means that you're more sensitive to the insulin and that your ability to, of your body to take up glucose is enhanced.